All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Mr. Flatface, man. Many faces need more opinions. And this game's starting to get kind of boring. The maps don't keep you interested. The gameplay doesn't keep you interested because everybody camps. And it's just not overly fun. Even getting kill streaks is kind of a chore. I got a chopper gunner the other day. That thing is so short. That thing does not last long enough to be worth the kills to get there. There needs to be a serious reworking of the kill streaks in order to make this game at least somewhat fun. And I know it's not just the multiplayer crying out that this game's boring and slow. It's also the Warzone and the DMZ players that are saying, like, this is terrible. There's issues like you can't plate while sprinting. Who couldn't do that? Why did they get rid of that? That just makes you stand still. It's dumb. But let's get into it. So I'm starting to get bored with it. That's why there wasn't a video yesterday. Also, it's the holiday season, so kind of got caught up doing some Christmas stuff. And I was just too tired to sit down and film this something for you guys. Not that I don't love you guys. I really do. We just hit 75,000 views on the channel, which is crazy. That's I, <laughs> I did not see that number coming. But YouTube gives you these little of achievements. And that was the last one I got. 75,000 views. So thank you all for that. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to, uh, I don't know, stay up to date with what's going on on the channel. But I'm starting to get bored with this game, so we're going to break down because it's kind of the perfect time because the new update is coming. So let's break down that update that's coming. That way we know what's coming and how long we're going to have fun with it. Because let's be real, it won't be that long before we're crying for more content. Us as a society digests content like it's food and we go through it quickly. So let's see what we got to expect. For anybody who likes the old CODs, you're going to have shipment for the 100th and 50,000th COD in a row. Takes a lot of effort to copy and paste the same map 10 years in a row, but we got shipment coming. Now, I like shipment. I don't mind it too much, to be honest with you. Sometimes it can be a little much when you're trying to like have a casual game mode and it keeps coming in there and you get a bunch of like really, really good people on the other team. That could really make this map terrible, but it's coming back, so we're going to have fun with it. From the 21st of December all the way to January 4th, it's going to be Christmas decorated. We're going to get our shipments back, and I don't know, I'm, I wouldn't be opposed to them bringing the elves back and Krampus back. Anything to make the game unique and fun is always good for me, and it's a short time, so just, if you don't like it, get over it. It's the holiday season, let people have some holiday cheer. I would personally rather see a high rise or a terminal map come in, but we both know, well we all know, that they're going to dangle that in front of us like a carrot, and they'll release it like way mid mid life cycle of the game not mid season and that's just because they know they know we want we want some of the other og maps we don't just want shoot house and we don't just want shipment oh so we know those are coming eventually but right now we're gonna get shipment and it's gonna be fun guys you're gonna have fun and you're gonna like it and you're gonna pay for items in the shop which brings me to my next person slash update we're getting a new weapon and operators for season one reloaded. Ooh, we are getting the Chimera assault rifle. That's pretty cool. And two new operators, Claws and Gaz. Gaz is from the campaign, and Claws is just some member of the, the one of the special forces that nobody cares about. You can unlock Gaz by completing one of the new raid missions, which we'll be talking about here in a second. And hear me out. You can get Claws by purchasing Claws, the operator in the store bundle. Because you know... All the good stuff's going to be paid for. I love modern gaming where my wallet is actually the player. So moving on past the store updates, which we will consistently get. Also, can we just talk about the store for a second? Most of these skins in the store suck. Like, why are we paying for camel colored guns? Not camo, camel, the animal. They could just release that. It's just a straight, uh, anyway, moving on. We'll get in. That's another video topic right there. Coming in the Season 1 Reloaded, we are also getting raids. Raids will be PvE, that means player versus environment to anybody who has never played a video game ever, which in PvP means player versus player, just in case you didn't know. The raid will be called Adam Grad, and this will be how you unlock Gaz from the campaign and be able to use him in your multiplayer experience because your operator definitely makes a difference in the way you play. Well, it does if you're Rose. If you're not Rose, then every single other operator plays the exact same way. And you're just buying skins for those. And that's why there's like 500,000 of them. Because God forbid we buy one skin and we can just translate it to every other thing. <laughs> anyway, moving on. In order to enter the raid, you will have to have one of three things. You have to complete a specific daily challenge in either multiplayer or special ops. You will then either have to place within the top 20 in any Warzone 2.0 Battle Royale playlist. Or in DMZ, use the final extract helicopter within with at least $30,000 worth of cash on you. Do one of those three things and you'll be able to get a raid key, which will allow you to take place and have fun in the raid. Raid's kind of cool. It's a cool concept. We'll see how it goes. But I kind of like the idea and where this is headed. 
And then if the UI wasn't complicated enough, even though it is incredibly complicated, they're adding a new social feature called groups. Groups will allow you to have a community of players or a group, and you can have up to 5,000 members and prefer like preferences with these players. You can put them in their own little categories, their own little gaming groups, you know, group A, group B, group C, and you can just, I don't know, harbor a community and have another tab to open when you go into your social menu. You know, instead of just fixing the UI so then we can actually find our friends without having to dig through seven pages of stuff, you know, they're just going to add another page because more is better, I guess. I don't know. This game is weird. And I'm sure coming with this update, there will be nerfs and buffs, which will break down after the update. And there will also be some other little, you know, nuance changes within the game, I'm sure. But these are the major, like, headlines. These are the major crazy things that are coming. So we went over them. I don't know what you think about it, but I think that's all right. I, I'm down for any sort of content that comes out. It's a little bothersome that they're they, in an update. They're advertising that they're going to put stuff in a store, you know, because we need more stuff in the store. I love that, that when you open the game, the first thing that smashes my screen up is immediately an ad for go buy this bundle. I'm not buying your damn bundles. I'm going to continue to grind for Orion. And then I'm going to get Orion and I'm going to buy one skin and I'm going to use that skin for the rest of my life on whichever gun is the one I like. The, the, the cost of these guns is outrageous. How about we get an update to that? How about we get an update to the store? You should not be selling skins for almost $30 that look as generic as the shit you're offering us. I know we dropped some swear words in this, but this is a, this is a, it's a little annoying that we got to wait for a patch in order to have some sort of extra content come in that is just the same the same stuff what are they giving you ladies and gentlemen i want you to actually sit back and think about that an update should be an update to the game and its mechanics you're getting the same game you already got for 10 years in a row the same map now are we going to have fun obviously we're going to have fun and then they're giving you one operator that you can get through a raid which is to drive you to go do the raid you can buy one operator and then you got a couple guns that's about it. That's what we got. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you guys think. Is this going to make COD better? Is it going to make it worse? Are you going to play the raid? Are you not? I, just let me know. I enjoy talking to you guys in the comments. Until next time, I've been your host, Mr. Flatface, the man of many faces and even more opinions. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Please leave a like. Remember to comment. I love the comments. And if you're feeling generous in this holiday season, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys now. Bye.